let's look at creating and merging paragraphs of text. I'm not going to go all English teacher on you, but just a couple of little definitions really. A sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought. Whereas a paragraph is a passage of text that is about a different subject from the preceding text. That's kind of what we're taught at school. There are different definitions, but that, that about sums it up. A sentence is a group of words put together that express a complete thought, and it's got to be grammatically correct, and it's got to include a subject and a verb. Whereas a paragraph is a batch of sentences, a number of sentences perhaps, but it's all about one subject, and it's a different subject to the preceding text. Hopefully you're aware of that. If not, it doesn't matter too much because in Microsoft Word, that definition of a paragraph is actually not how we define a paragraph in Word. It's how you should write your text. You should write your text in paragraphs, but Word actually considers a paragraph something slightly different. As you know, when you do your typing in Word, do your typing in Word. As you type, the computer decides when to wrap the text. So you saw what happened there as I was typing. The text jumped down automatically onto the next line. That is a standard way of working. In order to start a new paragraph of text, you need to press the Enter key on your keyboard. It is sometimes labelled the Return key. It's usually towards the right-hand side of the keyboard and has an arrow pointing to the left on it as well. The Enter key. Or the Return key. And pressing that, if you just watch the flashing insertion point there that's at the end of the word Return, when I press the Enter key, or the Return key, the cursor jumps down onto the next line, thereby creating a new paragraph. So creating a new paragraph is very simple. All you do is simply press the Enter key, and you start a new paragraph where your writing can begin again. I wish I could type accurately. So what I'm saying there is that a paragraph in Word is anything until you press the Enter key. And pressing the Enter key starts a brand new paragraph. You've already seen a video, hopefully, on using the Show Hide special characters. Well, if I click on there, we can look at this in a little bit more detail. Here's our first paragraph. We can see just about there's a dot between each word, that's the space. When we get to the end of the first line, there's simply a space. There's nothing to indicate a new line. The computer knows that it's just continuing on. So it's all one block of text, all one paragraph, until this mark here. This mark is called the paragraph mark and appears every time you press the Enter key. So I'll press the Enter key now, and you can see we've got a brand new paragraph mark. Press the Enter key again. Brand new paragraph mark. Again, brand new paragraph mark. Now you can see why we like to work with those on. Because without it, all we're seeing is a blank space. That's what you get if you print out. But to work like that can be quite tricky. So we have them switched on so we can see where we are. These paragraph marks, you can treat just like characters of text. You can delete them. You don't need to highlight them. You can just think about where your cursor insertion point is. And we can see here, we've got the flashing line at the beginning and the paragraph mark at the right. Therefore, we can use the delete key to delete that paragraph mark. This paragraph mark here is on the left of the A. So if my flashing insertion line is just in front of the A, I can use the backspace key to delete the paragraph mark above it. And I can delete the paragraph mark above that just by pressing the backspace key. So I'm deleting those paragraph marks. 
and we use that feature to merge paragraphs. So we can say I've got a paragraph of text there ended by the paragraph mark, and a paragraph of text here ended by the paragraph mark. I can merge these two paragraphs simply deleting the paragraph mark that separates them. So those two paragraphs have been merged. I can also create a brand new paragraph mark anywhere in the text just by deciding where I want to put that paragraph and then press the enter key and a new paragraph is created. But you do have to be careful where you're doing that. So I just delete that paragraph mark again. And let me just zoom in slightly. And switch off the show hide. Now, we can see the end of the sentence here, verb, full stop. Then we can see a space, and then we can see the letter A. You've got to make sure when you are creating a new paragraph, or splitting this paragraph down, to make sure that your cursor insertion point is exactly in front of where you want that new line to start. Here is the wrong place, and I'll show you why. It's just after the full stop before the space. So when I press the enter key, it puts a paragraph mark exactly there. And you can see what's happened down here. It's brought the space down with the A. So now we've got a jagged left margin. If I undo that, if I now put the cursor insertion point just in front of the A and press the enter key, we've got a nice smooth left margin. That can often be easier by putting show hide on, and you can see what you're doing a little bit easier. Merging them by deleting the key, and you can see now if my curse, if my insertion points in the wrong place just after the full stop, you can see that space there. So when I press the enter key, that space comes down as well, giving us that jagged front line. So paragraphs are basically everything before pressing an enter key. You can merge paragraphs just by deleting those paragraph marks and you can create new ones anywhere in the text simply by pressing the enter key. It's really important to understand that, switch off show hide, when you are using word processor, a paragraph does not need a space between them, or two paragraphs do not need a space. Just because there is no space here between these two paragraphs does not, not mean that they're not paragraphs, they are paragraphs. People normally create a space, as we have here, by pressing the enter key more than once. If I put on the show hide, we can see my paragraph ends here after return. I've then got another paragraph mark and my new paragraph begins. Switch off, we can see the space. Switch on, we can see there's not a space, it's actually a blank paragraph. There's a paragraph there with nothing in it. And that's how people tend to create a space. In a later video, we'll look at why that's not a good idea and to use a different method to do that. But for now, if you want a space in your document, press the Enter key more than once, usually twice. So that's creating and merging paragraphs. Simply pressing the enter key and using the delete key to get rid of those paragraph marks.